Annabelle playing out wide on the left and involved early. Oh, what a start! Was that his first touch of the ball? Astonishing! Poyet for them. Viali is there. Tries the shot instantly and finds the net. Brilliant goal from the boss. To T. Into Zola. He's kept on running here. Zola's found him. Petit's found the net. Chelsea two up. Right on half time. It's Manu Petit's first goal of the season. Chelsea one or two problems before. Here's Maluda. Looking for the early ball to Cole, and what a ball it was! Joe Cole! Sensational! One foot in the final. Joe Cole has his first goal since the 1st of December, and Chelsea are looking good. What a pass from Maluda, and a fine finish from young Joe Cole. Well, I was saying earlier about how the five have worked. We've earned that throw in. That's where it's come from. We won back possession. This is an incredible pass. Look at Joe's run. He makes the run in behind the fullback. The fullback's been lazy. A magnificent first touch. He's still got an awful lot of work to do. It's all about the first touch. Allows himself to set. Tim Howard has gone down a little early for me, but Joe Cole's finishing is superb. He scored a similar sort of goal against Blackburn earlier in the season. Similar sort of distance. Hits the target. Hits the back of the net. And Chelsea have got one foot in Wembley. Goal that Avram Grant will love. That was all about technique, wasn't it? The pass, the control, and the finish. Sensational stuff. You don't normally have the TV cameras on them, though. You might get a ticking off. The Salah finds Drogba, and he finds the back of the net. Deadly Didier. Three games in a row, and Chelsea have the early second half goal. Well, that's a bit better, isn't it? A nice little bit of interplay. Salah with a good little layoff, and it's a nice finish by Didier as well. It's on the half volley. It's on his weaker left foot. Finished it well. Schürrle makes the initial break, and the pass. We have that little bit of luck. The bounce is up nicely for Salah. Just a just a cushion it into the path of Didier Drogba. It's all about the finish, though. Comfortable, tidy. He makes it look easy. It's on the half volley, weaker left foot. I think he's done well to finish that. Maribel from 12 yards. Old Trafford with the header, and now Greenhouse Meadow. Three very different goals. Three scoring matches in a row. Onto a teammate's head. Oh, it's flicked on, it's hit, Zuma, oh, it must be, it is! And look who scored it! It's John Terry in front of the Tottenham fans! And Chelsea strike first to Wembley. Well, he's had a fabulous first half, John Terry. Hasn't put a foot wrong. And the captain leader legend strikes first. They all go over to celebrate. It's a lovely ball in from William. It had such pace on it, Ben. They couldn't deal with the pace of it. It dripped, dipped in six yards outside the six-yard box. He drills it over. Just make sure you get a good contact on it. He does. And we're 1-0 up. And it's not with his head. It's with that right boot. Via a little bit of Harry Kane. <laughs> I think it was heading at Hugo Lloris. Chelsea skipper won't care. And nor will... 35,000 Chelsea fans inside Wembley. The Blues one up right on half time. For 2015, the full time score at Wembley is Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspur 0. <laughs> and Chelsea are winners once more as the Capital One Cup goes the way of West London over North. It's Chelsea's there at Wembley. And surely this is just the start of something very special indeed.
Lots of black-shirted Chelsea players forward here. Fabregas with a chance to cross. Can he deliver another assist? He found Loftus-Cheek, just like he found Cahill. As Pedro! Oh, where's he pulled that from? 2-2! Two, two. Dave with a belter! Well, this is what it's all about, Ben. This is what we said, pushing in. You push in, you win the ball high up the park. And he deserves that. His, his persistent pressure to win the ball back was terrific. The header by Vasilevsky wasn't the best. It dropped sweetly. Well, that's a centre-forwards finish. Absolutely, perfectly timed by Cesar Aspilicueta. He's not tried to leather it. It's all about timing. Look at that contact. It's like a centre-forward. Terrific. Super contact on the ball. No chance at all for Zila. Well, we're back on level turns very, very quickly. Look at that contact, Ben. The style, it's all there. It's like a centre-forward. A very good centre-forward. What a goal. Bakayoko got to the final of the French equivalent of this competition last season, the Coupe de la Ligue. The Sonder impressing everybody. Here's Fabregas. It's a good cross to the back post for Kennedy, who guides it in for 1-0 Chelsea. It was a terrific ball from Antonio Rudiger, and Kennedy paid it the compliment that it deserved. Beat Henderson at his near post, he might have done better, but the Blues have got the breakthrough. Well, it's a terrific goal, isn't it? It's a wonderful finish by Kennedy, but let's look at the build-up. Charlie Masonda, ball goes into him 10 yards inside the Chelsea, Chelsea half. Got two players around him, and he gets beyond them. Makes a lovely, simple pass, it comes to Rudiger in a space where Aspilicueta often comes into and delivers crosses, and there it is again. But that's a nice, tidy finish. Difficult for the goalkeeper, to be honest, and I know people will blame him because it's gone in at his near post. Can somebody be a hero for Chelsea and send us to penalties? Gusto. Again, it's a good ball. Oh, it's a poor header. Modric, 1-1! Mikhailo Modric in stoppage time! A massive, massive moment for the Ukrainian! And maybe in Chelsea's season as well. Right at the death, Newcastle's sturdy defence finally leaks a goal. And Mikhailo Mudrik is there to draw us level and surely send the quarter-final to penalties. But it looked just a, like another delivery that was just going to sail through the Newcastle United box. I think everyone in the stadium felt that. Chelsea were underrepresented in the 18-yard box. And then Kieran Trippier similar to the delivery from the other side a few minutes ago, gets himself in a horrible mess, tries to head it back to Dubravka, and Mudrik anticipates brilliantly.